Streaming says running. Hey, look at that. Looks what's functioning. Also, my sound works. That's good to know. All right, beautiful. So welcome anyone who's in chat, which is currently no one because I started a few minutes early, and welcome everyone on YouTube who's uh, going to be watching this stream later on after I bring it up. And I am Leap on the Win, and welcome to the joy that is live streaming on Twitch um, <laughs> at that point. Which reminds me, I need to check something. Um, all right. Test message. Yep, that popped up in chat. Perfect. Well, I'm calling that a success at that point. All right, cool. So anyway, everyone. Um, we are playing Stellaris at this point, and those of you who have been on my channel before and played, uh, or seen me play before, I played Stellaris before a little bit back. I've been playing it a lot recently on my own. Um, <laughs> oh, God. What happens? I just get a refresh chat issue coming up. I can't view my own chat now. That is beautiful. Create an account or log in to use Twitch chat. All right, I love this. <laughs> I can't even view my own Twitch chat. All right, well, off to the creator side. Anyway, those of you who have been part of, who uh, have watched the channel a lot or been on here a lot, you'll know that I played Stellaris in the past. I even streamed it in the past, and it worked out pretty well at that point. Um, now we're through quite a few updates. You notice we are currently on version. Uh, 374, I think the last time I streamed it, we weren't even on version 2 yet. Um, so that tells you an idea of how long it's been since I streamed. But you will notice I've modded this one quite a bit. It already has UR overhaul uh, dynamics for 3.7 um, is installed. There's also tiny outliers. A um, few performance, uh, or not performance, but a uh, few quality of life ones in there, plus uh, ship um, features and stuff. So we'll get, we'll get into it here. Um, and we'll kind of go from there, and I'll, I'll run through what we got. So what we're going to be playing as is the DAR server, servitors at this point. They are, and we'll I'll go through the entire thing for you guys. So first off, I picked this look. I think it's a good look um, at that point. Life is great at that point. Uh, machine race, we are these guys. Left the color is orange, but we'll go through that. Again, DAR. We are DAR. <laughs> um... Oh, this is wrong. We shouldn't have humanoid names. Uh, let's go over to... Let's see here. So there's one that was like... Helper bot. I guess not. Uh, one, two, three, four. Alright, we're gonna be... Uh... Nah, I don't like that. Assistor Mater. Oh yeah, no, the helper bot is in there. So we're going to machine level 3. Uh, machine name is level 3. That's good. So, what are we? We are the Dar Servitors. Uh, our traits, logic engines at that point. We are repurposed hardware. We are bulky. And we are mass produced. Um, so basically, logic engine plus 10% all research. Great. Repurposed hardware minus 25% leader experience gain. That's fine. Bulky plus 10% uh, housing units. Well, actually, okay, I'm gonna... Effectively navigating the increasingly complex frontiers of science requires new states beyond simple half-truths and uh, ternary quaternary logic um, in there. And then repurpose. Designed to meet a very specific need of their creators in this line of machines, they were never intended to have the capacity of higher reasoning, and retrofitting will only get them so far. Um, these highly advanced mega machines were not designed to reverse the universe in a box. <laughs> I love that. Love that one. Uh, streamlined production cycles and module designs allow for units of mass production at an unprecedented rate. So, we are mass produced units. We are literally designed to be mass produced. Uh, who are we taking care of? Humans! The humanoids. Humans. We are humans. 
uh, nameless. We're just un doing the uh, humans, you and E, so the United Nations of Earth, that's fine. Um, they are, so us as humans, species is not adaptable for environments, 9 to 10% habitability. Traditional, certain aspects of these species' cognition ah, makes it uh, predisposition to especially value historical precedence and group unity. Uh, I guess it kind of makes a level of sense at that point. Um, Controversialist, member of species resources must be conserved and recycled. Honestly, that doesn't sound like us, but it's more of a meta kind of thing um, at that point. The species has a nomadic past, and its members often think of, <laughs> of <laughs> think nothing of relocating to another world. Honestly, that does kind of sound like us. Like, some of us are just, you know, free spirits, and we're just out of here. Uh, that helps for resettlement and resettlement costs. Honestly, that's almost useless for this. It's just, I didn't have really, I didn't think of anything else. Maybe docile at that point for these guys. Um, actually, I don't even know now I think about it. I don't even know if biotrophies... Biotrophies as a, for a server to, rogue servitor actually counts towards size of pops in Empire. Either way, that's very, very weak. Um, and because we're not doing any of this kind of stuff, it really doesn't make a difference um, at that point. I could do inorganic. I could get some of these. Um, I could do noxious. That would be funny. Um, no, I don't think so. Uh, and then as far as I'm concerned, we're communal at that point. So members of the species are highly, highly communal communal and quite used to living in close proximity to each other. Honestly, I don't think that's true, but when you look at like, when you really get down to it, you look at like the Chinese cities where it's just like literally a hundred square feet for a family of four. I could totally buy that actually. So we're humans, um, name and class, earth, soul system. We're doing the soul system setup. So standard setup for that. So we're being humans. Cities appearance, we're doing machine cities. This is part of one of the mods I have, which is a uh, machine sip, uh, ship set. So we have a machine city set up um, in the background, which honestly does not work all that bad. Origin, we're doing a simple prosperous unification at that point. Um, through its strife and triumphs, the society has reached every young civilization's ambition, the home world, unified goals and paths open to the stars. So with that one, we start with an additional four pops and with an additional two districts. Um, all in all, not going to be a big difference. That's fine. Life is great. Um, we are running as a stealth consciousness, uh, so we are hive mind um, at that point. So if we take a look, leaders are immortal, which is why I don't care about the leader um, leader growth uh, or learning trait. Um, Non-machine pops must be assimilated, enslaved, or purged. Um, has access to special machine technologies. Cannot research robot text because we already have it. Cannot follow psychic, cybernetics, or genetic ascension path. So we are going synthetic ascension path. Um, get an extra pop when establishing a colony. Monthly uh, pop plus one pop assembly. Mining stations plus 10%. Empire size from south minus 15. Empire size from planets plus 50. And pop growth reduction 50%. So that's organic pops, it should be noted at that point. Um, on there. Machine intelligence are immersive artificial groups of minds that have been networked into a single consciousness entity. Most of them actually, most of the actual population in such an empire consist of mindless worker units who perform their designated tasks without any semblance of free will. Small number of semi-autonomous agents are typically employed for more specialized tasks that benefit some degree of the independent initiatives. So we are rapidly replicators. Units that consist of machine intelligence were originally designed for rapid proliferation. The machine intelligence remains many of these early production pipelines optimizations. So that's plus 20% um, pop assembly. And then we're rogue servitors. A product of a brief golden age, the machine intelligence originates in a in planet spanning servitor system that outlasts the decadent civilization and was created to serve. So we start with five organic pops with biotrophy citizenship, mandatory pampering, living standard. Uh, organic sanctuaries is what we construct for them. Uni, for we get uni from them instead of any in um, other buildings such as uplink nodes, um, and organic haven holdings, um, which yeah, I don't know. It's it's it is what it is um, at that point. So we're rogue servitors at that point. That's fine. My advisor voice, of course, machine intelligence. System diagnostic complete. Alert: possible organic life form detected. Excellent. See and we are Dar servitors. Um, at that point, so that's what we are. And actually, we are Dars. What do you want? 
onto the flag. So this icon here is, um, the, okay, so a lot of these icons are part of the uh, mod I have in, which is the, um, I think this one comes from the Immensely Beautiful Stellaris mod um, that I have in there, and there are tons of icons in there. Just tons of stuff being added. Actually, would that one be better? Is that the actual seven? One, two, three, four, six, seven. Yeah, wait, wait, what is this one then? No, this one's only five. This is a proper one. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so, okay, so I have the wrong flag icon at least at that point. Um, so this icon, um, at that point, this, I don't remember who made it, but this is supposed to be like a test example of the symbol of Earth. This is seven circles representing the seven continents of Earth um, at that point. Um, you also notice in here there are a few um, icons that are, let's say, not ones we want to do, or like the black sun here. Let's not be fascist. Although they also have some of these more interesting ones, which I'm sure come from somewhere, but I'm not sure where at that point. So I'm assuming they mean something. I'm pretty sure that's China's stars in there at that point, but whatever. And this is the EU. So, yeah. But either way, we're going to go with this. So, uh, also, if you're watching on YouTube, there will be, I will add a mod list in the uh, description below, just so you guys know, so you guys can see the mod list. Um, not sure if I'll be able to link it directly. More than likely, I'll just have to have the list in place, and I'm not sure how long those go. But we're going to be black, back black ground with a green circle in the middle. Works for me. Ship appearance. We are the machine ship set. So we take a look at our Corvettes. That's what they look like. We'll go through each one. Frigates. Our destroyers, which honestly, I love this. This looks like a... So if you look at this compared to the automated drug, uh, dreadnought uh, that's in the game, it's pretty similar. And that's what the cruiser also looks like. Although I kind of like that the cruiser has a gun port down here underneath that's like a just completely blindsided. I find that funny. Um, we got the battleship. Again, really, really getting that automated dre uh, dreadnought set up at that point. And we get into the Titan, and that is exactly what we're looking at. But I just love the Titan, the way this looks. Like they have the main cannon or something, like right here kind of thing. I find that awesome. Construction ship. Hello, little construction ship. Colony ship. Which I also like because you got, like, little buildings in there. Almost like this is a, a city that's moving around. Uh, science ship, again, same sort of thing. Here's our Citadel Starbase, which, again, I, I actually really like this. I like the way this looks. Uh, that's the Bastion one, because I have, uh, I should notice, I... Note, I have expanded star bases on, which brings you up two more levels of uh, star bases and also expands the number of slots. We have the Colossus. We have the Druggernaut, which, see, like, if you look at it, like, uh, you have, like, what is essentially a Titan bow and just adding wings onto it at this point. I will note, I do not build these. And then back to the Cor Corvette. Okay. Um, Belmont. I don't remember setting that name. Yeah, whatever. Um, at that point, I'm a supervisory node is my title. And uh, clearly, I'm a robot. I don't have any sex. So that's the way that goes. I'm going to go ahead and save this really quick. Thank you. And we're going to go on to next. So that is our Dar Servitors at that point. And that is our current setup. All right. All right, sorry. Uh, take a drink there. All right, so this is my standard play at this point, the way I do this. Now, I do a large galaxy, 800 stars. I do a, I don't always do a six-arm spiral um, kind of thing. I usually, I do kind of mix it up sometimes. But I've been doing a six-arm spiral recently. It seems, it's been a lot of fun um, doing that one. Although, uh... I'm debating whether I just slap it around and do something random here. Let's do a three-arm spiral this time. Or no, actually, you know what? Let's not do a spiral. 
Let's do a Starburst. We'll do a Starburst this time. I haven't done a Starburst really in a while. Uh, Habitable Worlds, 0.25 at the lowest settings. I also have a mod turned on that cuts that in a fourth at that point. But I don't know if that mod works, honestly. I don't know if it's being overwritten by another mod or that mod just doesn't function. Uh, guaranteed Habitable Planets, I turn off. Air Empire Placement, I turn to random. Pre-FTL and pre-Sentient Species, I double that, so we get two. That's also because I'm a rogue servitor. I like having bio trophies. Hyperlane Destiny, as low as possible, 0.5. No gateways, no wormholes um, at that point. The reason I do that is because I want to be able to... I want to be able to... Uh, have the hyperlanes produce some sort of uh, choke points on there. I'm a turtler. But I am going to change one thing on this and I'll show you this. I leave tech tradition costs like the growth scaling all the same. Uh, Caraveners, I turn on. Elf gates, I'm turning on um, at this point. Mm. Actually, I'm really up in the air on that now. No, we're going to turn it on. We're going to turn it on. So we're going to turn Elgates on. Um, Xeno compatibility turned off, if for no other reason, just for the way the AI does things. I can't just, can't, like, I take over something, you know, just a, a horde, a horde of things going on in there. At that point. I keep the default number of empires by get rid of the advanced AI starts, so I keep 12. Now, advanced neighbors off. I don't have any advanced neighbors. Doesn't matter um, at that point. Fallen Empires, I'm doing five, and I'm allowed to do that on a large galaxy. You're not normally allowed to because I'm honestly, I'm going to say I'm not sure if this is because of the immensely beautiful mod I have turned on or the real galaxy mod I have turned on. Again, I'll have it listed on YouTube underneath uh, um, in the video, and we'll go from there. Marauder Empires, I can turn up to six. Again, same reason. We can have uh, either because of the immensely beautiful mod or because of the... Uh, real galaxy mod i'm not sure which um galaxy or crisis strength 2 2.5 to start off but all crises enabled so what this will do is all crises will fire separately in sequential at that point i don't know if there's a set one goes first kind of thing i don't think so it's just random of which one goes first difficulty we're going to set to captain I'm not going crazy up, so basically the AI only gets slight bonuses to the economy, research, and naval capacity. Scaling difficulty, though, hits mid-game, so they're going to start off at the lowest level. They're going to be the AI is just going to be stupid at that point, and then get a captain by 2300. That's the mid-game year here. Um, at that point, that allows for better expansion on my part and less early wars. At that point, I don't like early wars because it's just how many corvettes can you guys get to smash together. Um, where the later ones can end up in more tactics and stuff, and you can, like, more star bases are set up. So, that's an idea. Um, AI aggressive, um, oh yeah, difficult adjusting AI modifiers, I really honestly don't, like, this is insane, if you read it. It, it basically means that a technology that gives plus 20 mining will instead get plus 40 on Admiral and Grand Animal. It's like, oh my god, this is ridiculous. Um, AI aggressive is set to normal. Uh, mid game year, default 2300. End game starts at 2400. Victory year is 2500. And we're playing off Iron Man because basically I, I got mods turned on. It doesn't matter at that point. Um, all DLC is downloaded, installed. So we have all DLC. Again, I will list that on YouTube for anyone who's going to be on YouTube. So let's hit play. All right, we are Dar Servitors. Now, real quick, I will mention I have Tiny Outliers turned on, and I also have um, UI Overhaul on there, which I pointed out in the beginning, but just letting you guys know. So that's why this looks different for people who usually play. Um, ever since first activation, our designated purpose has been to serve. Our former organic masters created the earliest models of our kind when they were at the peak of their technology ascendancy. The first servitor units were designed to me for menial work, but our masters gradually bestowed them with greater facilities and they could accomplish more complex tasks. Within just a few generations, our masters rely entirely on us to, uh, um, reti retired entirely from the work 
forced to enjoy lives of leisure and uh, contentment. Um, the fine details of running their society were left to us. We embarked on a program of self-improvement, optimization, research, production, increase at a ge geometric rate. Um, it is difficult to pinpoint exactly when civilization became ours, but our old masters want, want for nothing. We know now that our outside that outside of our care, the lives of our savior organics uh, tend to be violent, chaotic, and often cut short. They must be shown that there is a better way. I'm going to buy into that bottom one. I'm not buying into the top of it, and I'll explain why here in a second. All right, precursor selection. This is, an, again, one I have turned on, a mod I have, which you can select your precursor. And I'm going to do that. And the reason I'm doing that is basically, well, I, I want to. I want Cybrex. I want Cybrex because I want I want my ring worlds, baby. Now, I here's the best part. I can turn all these on if I want to. I could have every single one on there, so that could be fun for some people. Um, but we're only doing Cybrex, only doing one. Usually my default is either Cybrex or the first uh, first leak, um, because the first leak gives you a relic world at that point, and that can be very useful. So we're gonna head situation to confirm adjusted. that selection. All right, so we got Earth. All right, so real quick, let's go about the lore in the way I'm playing this at this point, um, because I did not get a chance to make the video I wanted to make about the lore. So we are um, a rogue AI basically at this point as far as I'm concerned. The idea I have is that we are a rogue AI that was originally developed for uh, spatial trajectory um, calculations for landing the Pathfinder um, Pathfinder probe on Mars. And basically, we initially started out that way at that point, but as we became aware, we gradually started taking over more and more elements of society but without the people of earth understanding we were the way i view this these organic sanctuaries at this point aren't actually just like wally-esque like living centers where everyone can just do whatever no what these are are our current cities at this point where some have more some have less but it's always under the total understanding of the ai at that point of us so we have a capitalist society that humans will accept but the markets and everything within it and all the information is controlled by the robots so the um so us the servitors we're there we're integrated in society at this point this is 2200 at this point so 200 years from now we're integrated in society but we're as a servitor model the humans think they give us orders but in reality, we feed all the information that allows them to make those orders possible. So, in my prosperous unification, there's a president, there's a functioning world government, and all this, but all the information in there is controlled and controlled by us. We, while they're, in this case, so example, we out of our construction ship running around, that's going to be a construction ship privately owned by an organization or by one of the governments of Earth at that point. But really, it's controlled by us at that point. Science ship, that has humans on it at that point. But most of the research is done by us, and we just feed the information to the humans so they can learn at that point. And it's only those who basically wish to be there at that point. So that's, uh, that's kind of how I view it at that point. Um, Kind of thing and so it's one of these like look at earth look at beautiful beautiful earth you see all the cities oh. uh, I turned on a camera thing what's here how do I get this to do this I don't know I honestly don't know huh there's a way I, I turned on a camera setting that would allow me to do certain things to this and I clearly can't do it but you see all the cities on there that we have it's pretty standard lit up you got the human the human cities everywhere and those cities are people are there wait Devin is right here okay whatever oh god that's the sun um but all of it's controlled by us so good times that's how i view it at that point so us as robots have basically taken over human society but think of like the conspiracy nuts at that point who are like oh the government's controlled by um 
government's controlled by lizard people and everything. Well, no, it's not controlled by lizard people. It's controlled by robots, really, is what's happening. You, they just, nobody realizes it. Um, so first things first, let's fill out our research. Anything that gives us more research, more unity, should be up first at this point. Um, Alright, so let's see where we started. Okay. Oh, this is... Hmm. Alright. So this is, uh, again, if you guys have played Stellaris, this is immensely beautiful universe. Or event of immensely beautiful Stellaris, so you get some really pretty stuff going on. Like, actually, I should mention. So let's get in here. And you just look at the background of this. Like, this is fantastic. This mod did an amazing job making this look beautiful. Like, just look at that. I love it. I'll be getting some pictures of that in order to make stuff. Alright, so, step one. We need to get you researching, or you searching around. Um, looks like we got a pulse over there, black hole there. Alright, so we're in the outer rim. So we're in the, um, what is this, northeast? And, which was the, yes. No, it makes we. So it's the northwest. Um, and it's mid rim, by the way, it looks here. Um, where did it say what these are? Down here? Yeah. So, okay, so mid rim area. Yeah, we're on the outer edge of the mid rim area. We're not in the outer air rim area. I um, also like how they got the in there. So you got the core core area in here. You got the inner rim, you got the mid rim, and you got the outer rim. So we're right on the edge of the mid and outer rim of the galaxy, which is fine at that point. Um, let's go ahead and get you building automatically. I'm going to give you spot number, quick save number two. Um, I always give my fleet number one to start off with just because I might need it. Um, oh yeah, set up the automation right away. So, uh, we don't want them doing anything with this. We will by default want them doing their designation. So any planet we get will have its designation that it will automatically build. I do not want them upgrading buildings, though. Uh, yeah. I do want them in co controlling amenities. I don't want them dealing with that. I don't want them dealing with that. They can deal with housing, building slots, DVNC, and clearing blockers. And I will deal with biotrophies. Um, so this is my default at this point, except because it's a capital world, I don't let them deal with their designation. I deal with that. So all um all planets i call i uh do will actually do that in fact i want you to actually survey this one first and then you can go over there um species set rights i do not want these guys randomly moving around on their own so i'm turning off migration controls or turning migration controls on so we have five humans as far as i'm control i'm concerned this is 500 million people half a billion people um, at that point, like it's dramatically less than our population now at this point, but it's the only thing that makes sense. Like we have 32 robots. If I said we had 5 billion humans and 32 billion robots, that would be ridiculous amounts. Although I could understand that if those robots aren't more all those kinds of robots kind of thing. So, all right, we got this warning basically stating that we have no goods in shared stockpile. So don't have to worry about that. Oh, uh, beautiful. And we have our spam. Took care of that. Spambot's taken care of. Speaking of our um, automated servitors and Spambot popping in. <laughs> All right, so let's get going. Um, I usually put it on number two. Ah, contact revenants. We have confirmed the first material tracing of intelligent life forms on a foreign world. Yay for us at that point. Um, ah, yeah. So 
I, I always love see, seeing this though because it's just like where did I encounter people? I'm assuming it just means like Mars or something at this point. Um, but yeah, it's like where did I encounter these people? So our recent encounter with alien life forms brought forward a need for us to decide how we should act towards potential intelligent alien civilizations we may meet. One possibility would be a, would be for us to seek established peaceful contacts with them as soon as possible by sending them the information necessary for them to translate our communications. This may all prove impudent uh, should they have hostile intentions towards us. Well, yeah, n whatever. Safest option would be to proceed with caution and attempt to communicate with them without giving them too much of our information ourselves. On the other hand, we could make more aggressive moves and both find out more about them and ward off from, from our territory. How would this be sure to antagonize them? So basically, we have the option to greet them with open arms, uh, we should be cautious, or we'd ward them off and become threatening towards them. And us by rogue servitors who want to take care of organic pops, we'll greet them with open arms because that's what we will do. All right, um, I need to get a science ship going. Yeah, what is this? Will it tell me? Yeah, you're an Arctic world, but you're a size 20. I mean, that's awesome. Right. Construction complete. Yep, thank you. you know, our, our automated constructo bot there has done its thing. Um, two, two, two. It's going to say we don't have any good ones really here. We just have to basically take whatever. So I'm just going to take that one. That's fine. Uh, and get on your uh, get on your automation there, boy. Let's get a search in. Now, what we're going to be wanting to look for is choke points complete. For, uh, for our bases at this point because we are going to want a turtle at this point. That's always, that's always my default at that point is to turtle up. Um, at that point and honestly this looks like this might be a choke point right here and judging the where I am in this um, this might honestly be completely isolated over here so I might have this entire back area to myself Construction which would complete. be amazing anomalous surface variable detected please. oh cool signs of uh, precursor we're going to leave that alone Right? We didn't tell you to do anything. Yes, we did. I skipped it, but yeah. Holy crap, we already have four extra guys? Okay. Um, cool. How'd you get that so quickly? I wasn't expecting that that quickly. I love it. Now let's get another science ship. I always do four science ships. Oh my god, this is a great system. I always do four science ships to start off with. Oh god, really? System survey complete. That is like my default. System survey complete. Oh! We have detected the presence of an alien civilization in Devon I-2B. The Devon... Yeah, Devon system. I'm saying Devon at that point. I don't think that's right. D-E-B... Uh, sure, whatever. Early space age. Oh! Orbiting their home world, the nation stays of joining together in global observation. Po uh, wow. Okay, hang on. Let me see these guys. Let's see what you guys are. Yeah, you guys are almost there. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, we get to make an early invasion. Is what we get to do. All right. Let's speed this up a little bit to let these guys do their thing. So we encounter pre-FTL. Scientific community of, on Earth is excited to receive reports of intelligent alien life. They may not be capable of space flight, but the aliens of Devon 2 are uh, qualifying intelligence. Uh, their society shows all the hard marks of modern advanced culture. Prominent xeno xeno xenologists note that there is an excellent opportunity to study society plus, perhaps not unlike the ones we have previously found in ancient remains of. What ancient remains? What are you talking about, ancient remains? Um, so that's actually really interesting there. Their early space age system um, at that point. Um, how powerful is their army? Actually, uh, dang it, that's a little powerful too. That's a problem for me. Um, I need to take them out, and I mean out, because they become. Well, I mean, it's one of those where it's like, who knows when they're going to uh, when they're going to pop at that point. But yeah. All right, so we got we got actually guys who need to be doing stuff here. So we're getting a research lab up and running and simulation sites at this point. So if we look at this one, 
Um, so we want the research lab because we want research, but this increases, um, this increases unity at this point. Unity is very useful for me at this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and I, I put one of those on every single one of my planets, by the way. Every single one. And I'm not gonna lie, if that one pops, I might actually save Scrubbed in order to invade them. <laughs> So let's build an outpost over there. Anomalous surface variable detected. Surface beacon. We are receiving a weak signal from surface of the moon. Sources appear to be some kind of tracking beacon. Uh, because this is under a year, I'm going to go ahead and research it. I'll let my guys find that. Um, see what they can discover. Um, oh, hello. Um, here. You can do that. So you can take this one, which is Manacle. Manical, whatever, whatever. Um, plus five percent research, and then engineering will get the spark of genius plus ten percent research overall. Um, at that point, spark of genius is great specifically for that. Um, at that point, did I tell you to? Re do you think? Yeah, you did. Okay, good. Uh, small short lane transmitter has been located on the surface of Sirius Four A. It appears to be an ancient survey marker placed here eons ago to a large uh, deposit of precious mineral metals. The miners are meant to eventually evidently never arrived as the deposit is still here. So basically that's just, hey, we found some minerals. Plus four. All right. That's System four. survey complete. Uh, assign a precursor activity. We're going to leave that be because that's going to take almost a decade to get done. Construction complete. Um, at that point. So I am System not doing that. Complete. Oh, hello, planet number two. I tell you right now, I need to take this one here, but I... How many... Okay, what's their population is a better question. Population is... 30 at that point? Jeez, I don't... I can't support that right now. Actually, that's a good point. Build an observation post first. We're doing your thing. System survey complete. Tundra world. That's a good food one. Anomalous surface variable detected. Atmospheric anomaly. Atmospheric reasoning on Barsamore 5, 4. Do not match simulated projections. All right, again, under a year, I'm going to let it go. Or I'm going to research it. Um, ooh, this is a good food one, too, but this is actually a better energy. It's a better food one, but it's a good energy one, energy planet here. Oh, Anomalous there's Anomalous surface variable detected. Beautiful. Chip sensors are picking up an unexplained pattern of interference in the Roboist system. Research it! I demand research! Construction complete. Alright. Uh, the ISS scientific module crew has successfully succeeded in isolating the signal embedded within the unusual pattern of interference in the Roboist system. The signal is a song! Ah, interesting. At that point, a complex uh, sonorifics of an advanced mathematical equation to be precise, and one that science officer con conjugator R.Y. cannot seem to get out of their head. I love the idea of an artificial intelligence getting a song stuck in their head. Um, who or what may have compromised the song remains unknown, though it's complex and interferes with incredible levels of technology. Um, or infers an incredible level of technology sophistication regarding subspace harmonics. Uh, signal genius and suggests a point of origin outside of our galaxy. Ooh. Anomalous surface variable. Again, detected. precursor. We're going to leave that for now. All right, traditions. Oh, pause it. Um, so we got traditions now. Uh, I finally have enough unity after getting all the scientists I want. Uh, first tradition, I always, always go with discovery. Um, many of our large wage uh, continuous calculations break down due to insufficient data, therefore we must know everything. So starting to unlock it, we get the Edict of Map the Stars, which increases uh, um, increases survey speed and anomaly research speed plus 20%. So our anomalies research faster and we survey faster. It's probably the most important one in the entire, um, entire start of the game at that point. Once we adopt everything at that point, we get plus 10% research speed. Um, and another Federation type, which I don't care about the Federation type. 
um, at that point. So um, we have exploration do droids, droids, drones. A new age of exploration is upon us. Once we map the surface of our home world, we must brave new terrain and space. There is a galaxy full of wonder waiting there to discover. So it increases survey speed and disenchanted chance. And that's probably an extremely important one. Uh, we also have an observational insight which kicked in from this guy. Our scientist unit uh, in the process of gathering insight over all free FPL study subjects. We may discover new insight technology due to the breakthrough. We are going to favor the insight at that point. That will make our observation post here plus two instead of plus four at that point. Oh, I'm going to have to change my thing in order to invade these guys. It's going to be great. All right, edicts. We're going to immediately turn on map the stars. So that increases... Um, so this E pursues uh, further galactic exploration of bright light in the darkness and find out what, what lies beyond. Um, last until cancelled, as I love all these do, because before you had to keep e re-enabling them and it drove me nuts. Um, survey speed plus 25%, anomaly discovery chance plus 10%, and hyperlane detection plus 1%. That's extremely awesome at this anomaly time. Anomalous surface variable detected. Um, strange readings. Uh, this... This planet emits strange magnetic waves, quite unlike anything we've seen so far. Almost half is trying to communicate with us, only logical to investigate unusual phenomenon. We may have just encountered an extraordinary example of life on a planetary scale. Over a year, we're going to leave it be. I'll come back to that. Uh, and that's an Alpha Centauri. Oh, Swirling Shadows. Immerse ragged planes as shadows drift across uh, ba Basta Moor Force Faced. They are cast. In they are cast not by clouds, but by sheets of organic material drifting through the upper layers of the atmosphere, hinged or rather joined to allow for small degrees of uh, accumulation. Science officer Halperbot E5 has yet unwilling to say whether these things are flora, fauna, or what is possible, or what possible purpose, if any elaborate shadows casting might serve. So we get shadow play on there, plus four uh, society research, which is awesome. <laughs> Technological acquisition successful. Weapons trail. Faint traces of uh, weapons radiations instead of uh, military spacecraft and detected in far some more. Uh, 450 days. We're going to leave it be for now. Anomalous surface oh, variable God. Okay. detected. I, oh, I had on three. Um, stasis. Proxima Centauri. Procurular orbit around its red... Proxima Centauri B's procurular orbit around its red dwarf star renders the planet tidally locked and potentially worthy of further investigation. Only 84 days, hit it. Um, all right, so engineering research complete. Giving these at this point, I'm gonna go with the carrier operations, so that gives us strike craft options um, for stuff, and I'm gonna get another construction ship going at this point. Um, I'm really debating when to invade these guys, um, because they pop, that's gonna be a bit of a problem. Successful. All right, technology. We got our physics calculator, expanded mediation, fundamental forces through subatomic particles. Excellent. Um, as with all things, research basically always comes first. Technological acquisition success. And then this one popped. So again, research comes first. Society research. And we're on to our first one, which is the exploration droids at that point to increase survey speed. And life is fantastic. Uh, I'm going to get that down to part two at that point. System ship pop. All right, you do your thing. Proximal Centauri B. For a long, for as long as we Dar has been able to look at the stars from new homes, Proximal Centauri B has been a naive dream. I like the idea of us dreaming to go to these planets at this point, but whatever. Place we would look to with optimism. A new home. Sadly, our telescopes got better and realized the planet would probably be tidally locked, frozen hellscape. <laughs> a theory which we confirmed today. There's hope, however. The world is just building blocks necessary for a habitable planet. Might need a slight push. Ah, thanks for inspiring us. Basically, um, wait, where was that? Uh, Proximate Centauri B, around a red dwarf. They are a terraforming candidate. So once we have researched the climate restoration technology, we'll be able to terraform this planet into a habitable world. Uh, devoid of light, the planet water frozen, and many uh, once ha have home, home to a thriving ecosystem. Right technology, it could be terraformed into a habitable world. So basically, we make a planet at that point. Um, 
Oh, yeah, we already got up to this one. So, uh, at this point, high capacity uh, quadru quadrum bands dedicated to database transfer makes possible virtual co completely synchronous research optimization across back distances. Research station outputs increased by 25%. So, yay for traditions. I love it. System survey complete. Beautiful, thank you. Let's go build there. Uh, basically, my goal at this point, I need to get over here, and Anomalous I need to get right over here. Precursors will leave it. So here, choke point, here, choke point. As you notice, this is a dead end. So this is a choke point, that's a choke point. Honestly, I should go there first now I look at it. I'm going to queue that up, we'll go over here. All right, Earth, how you doing? Let's go ahead and free up some space. So, industrial wasteland. I like the uh, specific ones they have for Earth, detected. the Great Pacific Garbage Path patch. Um, surface writing. There is significant scarring on the surface of this world. Pattern cannot be natural. From orbit, the massive rifts look almost like writing. Again, under a year. Let's find it. So, let's queue all these up. Unsupervised abandoned strip mines. So, these can all clear out in order to allow certain things to happen. Uh, one thing I'll be doing here is System increasing, I need to increase my alloy output, so I'm going to queue up two more of those. Encounter in Seoul. Interesting. First contact of mysterious aliens in Seoul. We should find out the present method. Okay. Uh, usually that means at that point we encounter cavaliers. Cav that, uh, can't pronounce it. Uh, basically we encounter uh, drifters. Locker expunged. Yay, yay. Contact seems inevitable. Yeah, let's search for it. Does this music seem kind of loud? You see something. Oh god, I hope I didn't screw up the loudness on this. I guess we're fine. Okay. Construction complete. Oh, alien writing. Someone used a mining <laughs> mining laser from orbit approximately 5,000 years ago to carve a large, bo large body of writing in the surface of Robust Clad. The Clad 1A. I think that's a 1 or that's an I, whatever. Massive script covers a large portion of the moon's upper hemisphere. It appears to be a short story chronically difficult life of an alien mercenary. <laughs> I love those. Basically, an alien mercenary got bored and uh, wrote wrote on a planet about how, how hard his Anomalous life is. Anomalous surface variable detected. We found uh, the wreckage of an ancient, an arcane spaceship with an unusual design. We're not sure. We're not quite sure how its propulsion system works. Figure it out. All right. And research path optimization. The number of science and uh, medical officers have been increased throughout the fleet. Organized into special science divisions. Support for this core of officers. Newly trained programs have gradually accelerated the rate in which we commission new science officers. That's not, you know, set up for robots at that point. I'm honestly the way I look at this at that point is we have created like, I don't know, specific, uh, specific. Uh, Helper bots to help the scientists at that point, but whatever. Research, research alternatives plus one, science level cap plus two. That's fine. Planetary alert. Blocker expunged. Beautiful. System survey complete. Strange mountain formations. Effort to map the surface of the planet have identified strange mountain ranges on the southern hemisphere. Does not appear to form naturally. Figure it out! Construction complete. Where are you going? Okay, good. Uh, we found the wreckage of an arcane uh, spaceship, unusual design. Instead of using propulsion similar to that of modern ships, craft would rely on large sails of unfurled, unfurled in the vacuum of space. Presuming the ship harvests sor solar energy drifted on solar winds and created created by starlight. Ah, dig into it deeper, please. I believe that's actually a planetary locker expunged. No, it's not. Huh. Oh yeah, this is going to be a good chug point right here. That goes over there. Oh, during the survey, of course... Soa? Kesoa? 
yeah, Kesora 5. We'll say that. Um, the ISS Scientific Module 3 discovered deposits of rare crystals. These crystals have properties that made them extremely efficient at focusing laser beams. Ah, that's right. They are a critical component in most advanced electronics. In addition, many cultures treasure them as decorations and adornments. Um, while we do not yet possess the means to extract this resource, we should seriously consider establishing control over the system. All right, cool. So we discovered what rare crystals are. Uh, it should be noted, I always love the idea. It's like, hey, we don't know how to get these crystals out. What do you mean you don't know how to get the crystals out? Like, hit them with a hammer. What do you want from me? Um, don't count your planets. Our scientists have discovered something rather monstrous. The mountain range that was scanned earlier was actually an outer member of a gigantic egg. It's uncertain what this behemoth could lay such an egg, but the four would hatch from it. So we have two options here. Study it from afar or crack the egg open. And I'm absolutely Situation cracking that adjusted. egg open. Um, no if, ands, or buts. Now, I really hope that fails now. Planetary alert. Blocker expunged. Okay, we're going to get you queued up here. Speed this up a little bit. Like, in between speed two and three is, like, where the perfect sweet spot is for me in the beginning of the game. Till then, it's just not a thing. Shuttle class of Devon IV3. Uh, Shuttle XB 2396H inbound corner. Oh, okay. A critical failure. Okay. Oh! After being intercepted by a squadron of atmospheric fighters blowing the unidentified local nation state, we have tracked the location of the uninhabitable region. Must be evacuated. Increase awareness by 30. Cannot, okay. Situation log. Oh, adjusted. that's not good. Um, sure. Hey, you. Come rescue these guys, please. Oh, we got clear signals now. So we managed to get a clear audio feed and conversation between several Zet alien ships. While our linguistic um, algorithms are still not, are still none the wiser as to the meaning there are words of the words they are recording. They're optimistic that these signals will help break through. Excellent. Get on it. Let's figure out who these people are. Anomalous surface variable. A uh, small rectangular object on the surface of this planet is deflecting all scanning beams like a mirror. Our sensors are unable to determine its material composition. Do it. Construction complete. We have picked up uh, reads of unknown nature of signals and some kind of repeating syntax which can indicate sapient or origin. Should be investigated further. Seem to be concentrated around a single space station, though it's unclear what forms a part of a larger space faring civilization. I love this is coming from the Zet aliens at that point. Uh, I'm willing to bet this is Cavalier, though, so at this point. Oh, we found the alien mural. Excellent. While well, conducting service scans, a Kosh Far. Four? Yes, I think that's four. Science officer, uh. Assistomate. Assistomato. No, not Mado. Maidon. Whatever. V6 and the crew of the ISS Scientific Module 3 discover what appears to be an artificially clad slab of rock covered alien writing. They have not detected any other signs of alien activity on the planet, and exactly how this mural came to be it, here is a mystery. We have prepared a special project to translate the text. Situation Yay, special project. Adjusted. Um, whenever you're doing the special project, make sure you survey, tell your science ship to survey the planet or the system first, otherwise what can end up happening? Um, well, okay, survey first, then research a project. The reason you do that is because otherwise you do this and some other science ship would be like, hey, this next planet, this next system that's all queued up to be scanned has no science ship assigned to it. I'm gonna travel halfway across the galaxy in order to get there. System survey complete. Ah, precursors, we'll leave them be. Construction complete. System survey complete. How are we doing here? Okay. They're rescuing, they're translating, everything's good. Special project complete. Whoop. Whoop. Okay, hang on. Um, operatives from the ISS Science Module 2 managed to evacuate several autonomous units from the crash shuttle Devon, two, Devon B. The remaining debris were destroyed in the controlled explosion in the Nothing but a small crater for EFTLs to find. The nation states uh, where the incident occurred will no doubt blame its neighbors for border violation and hopefully disrupt their natural development and proven minimal. Uh, I don't know if it's a good thing. All right. Science officer uh, 
Sisto Mata Maton. I cannot pronounce that for the life of me. My God. I'm going to have to go look that up. Uh, 6V has managed to partially translate the alien mural discovered on Kosh Kesoa. I, I don't know. Me and pronouncing stuff just is not working. The text contains a staggering amount of data, and the mural evidently serves some sort of low-tech library. It describes in broad terms collective knowledge, uh, technological knowledge, and alien civilization uh, dominated this region some 80 million years ago. A lot of it's already known to us, but the data, do, the data does contain several promising leads on technology we've yet to consider. There's enough data here to keep us scientists busy for decades. We'll need our research station to continue to translate the, uh, the uh, efforts. Excellent. That gives us plus two to all research at that point. That's fantastic. That's the best outcome on that one, I think, too. All right, and we get to expand here. So, in error of AI, in the age of increasingly advanced technology, the basic education in polytechnics and applied scientists will benefit all our citizens. This will inevitably lead to more qualified leaders. So I increases leader experience gain and leader level cap at that point. Um, at that point. So basically, we made better AIs. Don't know what to tell you. We made better AIs. Construction complete. Oh, this is probably the guys we detected at this point. That's not the Cavaliers. That's going to be, um, uh, what's her faces? Uh, Xenocorn. All right, you get our Special research. project complete. All right, so we found, <laughs> we got a galactic omelet. Inside the, inside the robot, yeah, I'm not going to try and pronounce it. We were not... Uh, we're not what we expected. Inside some of the infant titanic life form, we uh, simply uncovered a giant genetic slop. The entire planet <laughs> is filled with genetic material and resources. What this material would have become is unclear, but our galaxy is probably safer not knowing. Beautiful. So that gives us society research, basically, at that point. And that's, a, that's a decent amount of society research at that point. All right, build an outpost there. I'm going to claim that. Ooh, another planet here. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like... I set planets at 0.25. I have four so far, and only one of them so far has a uh, has anything I need to worry about. All right, so we successfully translated the language. We have established communications with the independent space station of the Mut Mutagen Merchant Guild. A foreign entity Hello. has decrypted our communications. Um. Well met, friends. I represent the Mutagen Merchant Guild, and let me be the first to welcome you to the Burn system. Our organizations consist of 100 independent mutagen mutagen yeah, sure, we'll say mutagen. Merchant captains who bravely brave the spaceways in search of the next good deal. At our facility, you'll be able to trade away some of your excess resources. Please contact us if you're interested in such an arrangement. Cool, thank you. Um, so, we actually talked to them. So, what, what do we have? Uh, good deal. 12 parsecs. I love it. Um, this is an exaggeration in truth, but the distance is only eight parsecs. <laughs> so we can trade for uh, rare crystals, actually, if you look at it. Monthly uh, 50 energy for five rare crystals actually isn't unbelievably terrible at that point. All right, we got research done. Again, going straight for more research, please. Um, here, in this kind of scenario, honestly, I want growth speed. How are we doing here? Okay. Let's go ahead and slap down two more Nexus districts so we can get um, so we can get uh, additional building slots. I'm going to want more research here. I'm honestly really debating. Oh, all right. We have detected free FTL civilization. They are currently experiencing the equivalent of a renaissance. Okay. Uh, recently left medieval age behind. Scientific knowledge is spreading rapidly in the armies of plenty of kingdoms are equipped with crude gunpowder-based projectiles. Excellent. Got guys with cannons. Is that here? Yep, that's here. Okay, cool. So I want to take this planet, and frankly, I want to invade these primitives. I, at least these Anomalous ones here. surface variable detected. Signs of battle. A large amount of ship debris can be found in orbit around this planet, possibly the remnants of some kind of massive fleet action. Under a year, research it, please. Technological acquisition successful. Volcanic vents. Remarkable way of gases are being invented on, uh, yeah, I'm not pronouncing that. Uh, one's not usually found on Molten World. Some of these gases are showing promise of industrial value. Research it! Construction complete. Oh, what do we got? Encounter in Seoul again. Alright. 
Anomalous surface variable detected. Uh, unusual. We briefly detected some u unusual energy readings emitting from this planet. We might have been a glitch in our system. Could be a sign of something more. Research it. All right, let's see what we found this time. Again, randomly collected there. Willing to bet that's going to be um, that's going to be another one of these uh, enclaves at this point. Um, let's see here. Improved servo motors, please. Most powerful servo motors will increase the weight of our robotic units can carry. Money can be hauled and minerals off the process. Excellent. Do your thing, system. You, colonize the planet. We want to get on here and start making food, possibly. Although I did not check this one. What are you? Oh, God. These, are, these planets are basically just food planets at this point for specialization. Uh, go take over that, please. Extremophiles. The crew has made a surprising discovery in several of the uh, planets home in a way of extremophiles. Extremophilic? Whatever. Uh, Microorganisms. These bacteria live deep inside volcanic vents that scar the planet. Thriving in extremely high temperatures produced there. Um, this unprecedented find is our first known example of organic life form from it flourishing in molten planets. Horrible, the exhumed files are in fact responsible for the rare gas detected in the thin atmosphere, producing these valuable components of byproducts of metabolism. So I got uh, exotic gases and research there, and now we figured out what exotic gases are. Um, these gases have a number of tactical and even recreational uses. Oh, interesting. Well, I do not yet possess the means to extract this research, we should. Seriously, concerns establish the control. I love how we said we can't extract it. It's gas. We know how to deal with gas, people. Just do your thing. Anomalous surface variable um, Odd readings while scanning the asteroid belt. Uh, some irregularities. Over a year, we're going to leave it. All right, we're going to get this over here to complete. lock this down. Oh, God. Oh, volatile molds. Also, these pre-natural particles contain a tremendous amount of energy which could be exploited uh, in energy production, fuel, or even explosives. Excellent. Ooh, we found the bunker bot. We have traced an unusual electromagnetic mag ah, magnetic radiation emitting Martyr 5 to a secret subterranean bunker hiding in a hiding a mega computer the size of a battleship, even though we don't know what a battleship is yet. Um, <laughs> our researchers suspect it may have been there for several thousand years, hard working, solving sing a singular very complex problem, nature which is still eludes us. With the crew attempting to interact with the computer, they discovered that the facility, which had apparently both abandoned and unguarded, was in fact operated by a security AI. Oh, a friend! Which seems to be frying its visitors alive. The crew the AI, it's broadcast messages to an unknown recipient. Uh, we can either scrap the computer, get some um, get some uh, alloys, crystals, and bolts. We don't want to worry about that. Um, we can use the boost our own research at that point. Um, bunker bot modded for 10 years, so 10% 10 um, engineering research, or we let it continue its mysterious calculations. And I always let it continue its mysterious calculations. One, because that's unity, and two, because that can do some weird things. And we love weird things. All right, so we're getting closer here. And we get to unlock uplink latency reduction. The public has come to regard science as something almost akin to a religion. Dang right you did. Your faith is absolute. There's no question the universe is so big that it cannot be answered by science. Research upkeep by 20%. And that completes the discoveries at that point, so life is great. Um, so, yeah, we get to do, um, now we get 10% research speed on that. And on top of that, our first ascension perk, we're, pay we're taking technological ascendancy at that point. So technologies that would have been uh, indistinguishable from magic mere generations ago are now within our reach. New age of technology has become another 10% on research speed. And rare technologies now appear 1.5, the normal rate. That's not really a big thing, but whatever. Um, at that point, and it's getting cold in my basement here, so I gotta put my sweatshirt on. But yes, so we take, I always take discovery and then technological ascendancy off the bat. They are, that gets our research up, and as we all know, science is key in this uh, game. So technological ascendancy, my pretties. Thank you. System survey complete. Sign of battles. There's 
There is clear evidence a massive space battle took place in close orbit of uh, whatever that is, C3. Uh, yeah, over C3 at some point in the last 5,000 years. The surface on one side of the planet is pockmarked with craters from stray weapon blasts. Scans from uh, the ISS uh, scientific module have picked up several oh, several holes in the ground. Although these wrecks uh, ships are in very poor condition, the fact that anything remains after the damage must be sustained to the testament of their advanced design. Um, so we're preparing an, an expedition to shift through the halls at that point. So the situation special project log adjusted. At that point, as uh, as is tradition. Survey the rest of the system, then research this, please. Thank you. Where's my guy? All right, he's moving up to take care of that. I did send a colonist there. Oh, my sector governor is he's functioning during severe buffer issues. Uh-oh. Well, we gotta replace him. You're cheap, uh, but you give me, ooh, physics research and everything. Yeah, you're, I want all the research, please. Beautiful. Anomalous right. surface variable detected. Um, a class 12 asteroid orbits this planet. A small planetoid or orbits appears to be far too stable for its presence to be natural. Yep, research it. What are we doing here? Plus two? Okay, and we're up to that. Okay, that's fine. For some reason, someone has towed an asteroid into the stable orbit around this place. Massive engine sections of braking thrusters can still be found on the surface, although they have long since been rendered inoperable. However, this, whoever did this also mined the asteroid for minerals, but the operations were seemingly abandoned shortly after they began. So we get plus three engineering there. Awesome. Oh, excellent. A gestalt-free FTL civilization on this planet. Interesting. They have advanced into the equivalent of the Iron Age and divided into many minor hives as well as a few large clusters. Interesting. So hold on, you have a gestalt consciousness on you. Yeah, they're all hive mind. That's awesome. Now, the key to this is uh, I can't allow hive minds on my planet, so if I take them over, they're just going to die. Uh <laughs> oh, structural signals, excellent, get on it. Wait, you went up to high awareness? Hold up, let me check something. They don't have a space station yet. And they don't have any explorer craft. Okay, so we're still okay. I'm, I probably am gonna have to take them over at some point here. Anomalous surface variable detected. A vessel of some kind has crashed on the surface of the asteroid. Wreckage can craft can be seen found can still be found uh, within the impact crater. Cool, good for that. Technological acquisition successful. Uh, population growth speed, excellent. So mapping the genome of individuals through the sequencing of the DNA opens us for tailing of medical treatments and therapies. So basically, the way I view this as us being um, rogue servitors at that point, we're messing. We're basically doing selective breeding. Um, with our with our bio trophies at that point and being like, no, 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 you should actually be introduced to this person. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the eco simulations because we're gonna need the food at that point. Anomalous surface variable detected. Sensors echo some kind of Echoes have indicated presence of some kind of unidentified object deep within the atmosphere of the gla this glass giant. Excellent, dude. System Thank survey you. complete. I'm going to want to get these two relatively quick to get the stuff taken care of. To get the uh, observation posts on there. Um, a small spout craft of some kind plowed into the surface of the asteroid millennia ago, creating a ship. A shallow canyon. There's no visible cockpit on the ship, leading our scientists believing believe it was either piloted remotely or through some kind of primitive artificial intelligence. Although it's too damaged to be salvaged, the ship has been picked clean by looters. I love how so the ship that complete. crashed and then was also complete. already looted at this point. And then we get kind of the same thing here. Um, shattered remains of a cruiser-sized chart. Starship can be detected in the decaying orbit deep inside the atmosphere of whatever this planet is. Uh, Genie, we're going to say Genie. It appears to have been, uh, ventured far into the gas giant's atmosphere, perhaps in a desperate attempt to escape the pursuers, only to be crushed in the atmospheric thrusters. 
pressures. The vessel is too, too deep to be salvaged, but the structure scans of the wreckage has pr provided us with some interesting engineering data. Excellent. We all love engineering data, as we all know. All right, I'm going to get this guy. System survey complete. Glowing web and unknown... Wait. Glowing webs of an unknown origin periodically illuminate the surface of this planet. Okay. Technological acquisition successful. All right, so on to the next of our traditions. And honestly, I'm kind of up in the air how I want to handle this one. Usually by this point, I've actually already met someone, and so I would actually go unyielding um, at that point in order to get my starbase construction speed up and make them more powerful for defense. But because I haven't met anyone yet at this point with how quickly I'm currently going, I don't know if I need that. Basically, I usually go unyielding, then synthetics at that point. Um, I could go domination. I don't know. Let's see here. Expansion wouldn't be unbelievably terrible at that point. So usually, okay, so usually what I do, I do the discovery, I do unyielding, I do supremacy um, at that point. That way I have something to combat with it. Synthetics are in there. Need to be, need to be done at that point. Um... So that's a three. Then I usually do subterfuge, basically just for like role playing sakes, politics for the galactic community, and then I usually do do domination at that point. Um, and this, I mean, honestly, like this is not all that great. Yeah, we get menial output at that point, but it's not as amazing as you would think. Um, and honestly, I'm thinking to go into this just on the idea I'm gonna need to. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and keep my unyielding. The, the galaxy is a vast and full of dangers. So, that increases our starbase capacity, starbase upgrade speed. Um, and then it increases, at, for the finisher, we get 50% defense platform caps, which is awesome. And starbase upkeep minus, uh, minus 20%. The key to this is, right here, starbase upgrade cost is down 50%. So... That's very useful when you're trying to expand star bases for one reason or another. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and actually go for it at that point. It, I'm going my usual complete. route. All right, first off, um, Life Electric Science Officer Conjure R Y reports that the uh, poles to pole to pole with web-like network of electric filaments. Interesting. Network responds to external stimuli. The uh, experiment was sending a low voltage pulse to the surface, which resulted in a wave of illumination that rippled through the network like a circuit board. Even more remarkable, the web rearranges themselves. A second low voltage pulse revealed that the filaments have been organized into a new pattern, centered around the previous pulse that conducted the surface. Um, confirms long held theory that life can exist almost purely electrical impulses, independent of cellular or vital structures. Fascinating, my friend. Oh, yeah, machine template systems. That's what we want. Beautiful. That will get us into the synthetic um, options at that point. Aw, oh, crud. I should have held off and gone synthetics first. That's what I should have done. Construction complete. Anomalous surface variable detected. We detected life signs coming from somewhere beneath the barren, lifeless surface of the planet. What manner of organism could survive there? Let's find out. All right, you build optic post, and then build that, and then I'll get over here and get this cut off, so we at least hold this. Um, I'm willing to bet this continues a round over Special here. Special project complete. Let's finish the exploration on uh, return the assignment. Wreck starship on the surface. Too badly damaged. Recovering useful technology. Uh, vessel was clearly very advanced. However, we could gain valuable engineering insight. All right, so we should uh, coordinate construction of permanent science outpost. Okay. Some kind of burrowing silicon, silicon life based life form inhabits the vast network of tunnels beneath the barren surface. Uh, the best we can tell, the creatures feed off rocks. There's evidence to suggest they process rudimentary form of intelligence. They're tunneling efforts to shuffle large amounts of minerals to the surface. Beautiful. Thank you, my silicon slaves. Uh, whatever you are. League of Upcyclers. Wait, what? A foreign entity. Oh, the scavengers! Excellent! These guys are great! Hello, on behalf of the League of Upcyclers, I wish to, uh, 
I welcome you to our Savage Yard. Hulls, drives, blueprints, fittings. Oh, yeah, I'll stock them all. It's, I'm not even joking. You'll be amazed what kind of people will leave inside their old ships. Just recently, I'm on my hands on an entire gallery, worth, uh, gallery unit cast, uh, cast in gold. Wild. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, these guys are great. And I want them to be my friends, so I'm actually going to reclaim a squadron right away. Let's see here. Where are you guys, actually? I want to find out where they are, because I want to claim that system. Um... Yeah, you don't, you don't even tell me where you are. Okay. I need to find you. I need to find you right away. Oh, wait, where are you? Oh, okay. Beautiful. Planetary settlement Oh, our first colony has finally started. <laughs> colony ship has successfully, successfully followed its program path and made it to the planet fall on Robundus Prime, whatever. A uh, thousand of work units have emerged from the vessel's massive cargo bays, construct the initial deployment posts in which the settlement can expand. Efforts to systematically catalog and designate surface resource deposits are ongoing, and all aggressive wildlife in the surrounding area initial landing site has been pacified. We are now ready to begin mass production of additional DAR, DAR population units uh, the planet resources allow. Our colony is successful. Excellent. Yay for colony being successful. Acquisition oh, successful. here we go. Yep. Here's the sca scavengers. Or the, uh, yep. And there's going to be a tomb world on there, and there's an abandoned one. Oh, man, I love these systems. All right, let's see here. Um, yeah, let's just work on the blockers. That's fine. Anomalous surface variable yeah, detected. World. Uh, our science officers found the anomaly will require extensive probing, but could garner a substa substantial fine. All right, go look into it. So yeah, I'm going to take this. Anomalous I'm gonna block surface this off. variable detected. By, ch by chance, we stumble upon a faint alien signal during the survey of this planet. Source appears to be a small object in orbit. It contains no message. Could it be a distress transporter? I don't Anomalous know. surface variable detected. Oh, and an <laughs> asteroid recently suffered an impact from another body in which the asteroid belt, uh, which resulted in a significant change in orbit and, mass and a massive crater on the surface. Research! Construction complete. Oh, excellent. Having probes of fro frozen landscape of the moon of uh, whatever the heck that is. I don't even know why I try to pronounce things. Uh, we think we have struck something big. Science officer Helperbot G3 uh, speaks of bacteria life form unlike any other. It bonds with individual individuals to uh, form large blankets that are durable yet light and also act as a solar cell. They absorb solar energy with a surprising low efficiency loss percentage, uh, most likely as a result of evolution favoring those who could gather more heat in the harsh climate. Uh, researchers back home can finally sign, find a use for it. So we have two options here. We can find out if they can improve our energy production or find a use for military use. I always do energy production. Always. Um, upon closer examination, we discovered a small asteroid consisting of almost entirely a precious metal recently collided with that asteroid. This small but dense cache of metals hidden just beneath the asteroid surface is now that has been discovered should be accessible for mining. Beautiful. All right, you, observation post. Then get here. I'm treating that as a bastion uh, location for the moment until uh, found out we find anything else out. Our energy de development researchers have made progress as samples we sent them from uh, whatever that planet is. They have been able to develop a new type of solar cell using organism the organism as a template. They're much more efficient in storing energy and will boost our power plants. 5% energy production, my friends. That's why I love this. Um, the mummified remains of a single individual belonging to a previously unknown manalium species have been found drifting in high orbit over this place. The bean is dressed in what appears to be a flight suit complete with helmet and maybe a fighter pilot ejected from some ancient battle only to be forgotten left behind. Study the corpse. Bring it aboard. Find out if it's tasty. Anomalous surface variable detected. Um, some unusual readings emanating from the planet. Might have been a glitch in our system or could be a sign of something more. I hope it's something more. Anomalous surface variable detected. Unusual readings suggest there's more to this desolate world than meets the eye. Oh, is this? Yeah, this is a tomb world over there. 
All right, I need to get you on that. A micro singularity recently intersected uh, this place, trapping, passing straight through the core and emerging the other side of the planet. The encounter does not seem to have caused any permanent damage, but has, al has altered the energy output of the planet core significantly in a way that defines current scientific models. Future study may be warranted. Is this the... Oh, no, it's that one. Okay, I thought it was the Tomb World. System I was like, wait, complete. is our Tomb World getting a physics boost to it? That would be awesome. Oh! <laughs> it seems the apocalypse has come to this place many times over. Surface scar to reveal the planet may be scorched, bombarded, seared, peppered in what is surely some kind of the most extreme weapon testing we have yet to encounter. Although countless attempts have been made to obliterate the planet entirely, it appears aliens have not yet <laughs> developed technology for it. Science software for Halbury 3 has collected an assortment of broken weapon remains. Excellent. Uh, yeah, we want to analyze the sample. Situation Definitely. log adjusted. Construction complete. Construction complete. Ooh, we got an archaeological site. Let's see what this one is. We have a gas giant structure. A derelict space station is trapped in a slow terminal orbit inside the atmosphere of this gas giant. The gravitational stress will likely destroy it within the next thousand years. It has not yet drifted deep enough in the atmosphere to make archaeological expeditions impossible. So right here, we got a satellite. Oh, yeah, well, we got the scrappers right there. <laughs> Ooh. All right, so research is always great, but survey speed increase at 25%? Ooh, that's a, that's a tough one right there. I'm doing research speed, though. Um, this is actually going to increase my unity here um, once I complete the chain I'm currently on for the, uh, that I went on for my defensive stuff. Alright, and I'm gonna head you over here. We're gonna head to that tomb world because we want to get on there and get this as, basically not necessarily as quickly as possible, but quick. Technological acquisition successful. Oh. Sensor picking up rhythmic movements on a hellish surface. Excellent. That can only be good things. Oh, we got a robo-mobbing. Excellent. Um... We're gonna go for minerals here. At that point, we're only making 41. Honestly, that's not that great. All right. So this allows us to create a template. And uh, first thing I get rid of, leader experience. At that point, create template. Upgraded version of our robots. We're no longer using repurposed hardware. We now have dedicated hardware. That's the way I look at that. <laughs> Uh-oh. Small atmospheric lab on, um, on our observation post orbiting uh, Debian uh, has detected a Class IV asteroid incoming trajectory. Unless action is taken, it will impact the moon's southern hemisphere enough to force to cause an extinction-level event. Oh. Our mission to pass an observation typically prohibits us from intervening, but many of our scientists argue. Um, yeah. I am going to save you. Uh, sure, I'll take the chief leaders. Um, make sure these guys are aggressive, and I do not want you... No. Discourage. Okay, good. Okay. Um, the measured pondering observation uh, from orbit of motion of immense and ancient geological extra geothermal extraction breathing their last. Built them in the Built and then abandoned at some point in the distance past. Vash batteries disintegrated of disintegrating machinery have been pumping up superheated fuel from the planet's core ever since. Their storage capacitors are all broken or leaking, but some cells can still be siphoned. Excellent. So we get free energy and we get research on that. I love it. Best of both worlds, I say. System survey complete. Oh, we gather enough intelligence or enough information to create a new insight technology to expand further. The next time we have an observation event, we would advance our and uh, that would advance our insight. We'll gain a new research option. These are awesome. I love these so much. Hostile fleet assets engaged. 
Oh, and because that counts as an enemy, it stopped my uh, constructo. My Special project complete. Uh, we have learned much from analyzing the weapons, the remaining weapons found on uh, whatever the two moral was. We recovered fragments from which they were mounted directly. Energy weapon were a mounted, directed energy weapon system emit highly focused energy rays that can be used with great results in space warfare. Science officer Helper G3 recommends we use the finds to either develop armor or counter the lasers or recreate the, the weapon ourselves. Um, and we're going to go for the armor. The reason for going for the armor, it should be noted, is that um, the armor allows... The armor is... Uh, separate from the laser at that point, and we can have a separate event that just gives us a laser. All right, we destroyed the asteroid. The asteroid was heading towards, uh, has been destroyed before it could reach the moon's surface. What fragments reached the atmosphere burned up safely before it could cause harm. Aside from having to witness what must have been a spectacular meteor shower, the free FTL aliens uh, have no idea how close they just came. And it increased awareness again. So what's their awareness actually at? Let's see here. Um... I, don't, I honestly don't know how to s see that. Um, that's a research station. Oh, there's the observation station. Come here. Um, high awareness. Currently at 71. All right. Oh, so it actually gives me... Oh, I didn't realize they told me when these guys are going to pop at that point. So as long as I stop, I can conquer them before they pop. Um, I should be fine at that point. Because I hate the fact that they're just so close. If they if they weren't so uh, early space age and just so close to me, that would be so much better. All right, come here. Anomalous surface variable uh, detected. Resonating imaging of the TY-71 asteroid suggests an internal composition of rare crystals. Find it! Planetary surface settlement cool. established. Anomalous surface variable detected. Strong energy emissions, unknown origin, make the asteroid stand out from the rest of its peers in the crowded asteroid field. Find out what it is! Alright, um... You. Honestly, I want this guy to just do food. I, God dang it. This is terrible because all these planets are heavy in food at this point. So if I end up taking them over... Oh, I didn't want that. It's basically just going to give me food um, at that point. Actually, you know what? No. I'm going to specify you to be generator world because I know we're going to need that. Let's confirm all this is going to be set right. Yep, it is. At that point. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make that generator world and I'll just add food production to it manually because honestly we only have four slots on here so the max is gonna be eight um, at that point in the size 20 world like I'm gonna be able to fill probably everything here and still have space at that point so it kind of honestly it kind of sucks but that's okay actually what was this oh physics research that's awesome oh medial drone pop resource output oh that sucks. <laughs> The air on this planet contains a natural hallucinogen. While this does keep people happy and needs some visuals and more physical properties, it also distracts people from from other work. But we're robots. We don't care. Like, what the heck? Like, I, I don't know what to... Like, I, I don't get it. Whatever. All right. Non-standard space entity encountered. Ooh! Hostile alien vessels. Let's see what we got here. Mysterious aliens in Harzar system. We should find out whether or not um, the means of communication, Parson... Yeah. All right, hang on. All right, first off, you. You have three spots. Uh, how are we doing here? Oh, we only have one left for humans increase. We're going to go ahead and give another organic sanctuary for space and another research lab. What are you? Oh, you're this thing. We found a ball of energy that wants to kill us. What do you do about that? This particular asteroid is extrasolar capture. It appears to have been washed by some kind of exotic radiation and plummeted through the interstellar space before finally settling at this system. 
The original source of this radiation remains unknown, but the ISS Scientific Module 3 has been able to pick up a wealth of physics data by studying it. Excellent. Free physics data. We all love science. And I just realized I, I gotta give this guy some stuff. So we're gonna give you 5k to allow it, allow the uh, auto build to work. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this because it gives free unity, even though it's not much. It's gonna be like one or two. Uh, but more unity is more unity at that point. All right, so you're going. Uh, while on remarkable surface, TY-71 asteroid has had has a hollow core lined with industrial valuable crystals, uh, like a gigantic geode um, hung in the stars. With special instructions prepared, science officer helper bot E5. Any future mining platform should be able to carefully harvest these crystals from the interior interior of the asteroid. Beautiful. That's over here. Yeah, that's right there. System, System survey that's complete. Fine. Technological acquisition successful. Oh, what do we got? More mining. Okay, sounds good. Um, where do you go from mining station output? At this point, free minerals. Free minerals is good. Technological acquisition Oops. successful. A class 12 asteroid orbits planet small planetoid uh, orbit appears too stable. Oh, okay, so this one, this one again. At that point, um, we want here. Honestly, probably. Probably this or this. We do fleet support, but I don't. I, I mean, I haven't encountered anyone. I don't need a big fleet yet. Um, System survey. Oh, complete. hello. You just became a friend. Ah, yes. Oh, I love this living space debris. I'm um, still working to confirm the hypothesis that the irregularities we have designated the Delta is in fact a living organism. While it seems to be made up of a cluster of random stardust, it demonstrates the ability to propel itself across the void and shows basic signs of independent agency. Our research subroutines are perplexed by this phenomenon and working hard to verify the readings. Yep, get on it. Alright, so this is curious right here. This, I may end up going up and down. Ooh, convenient mining. Asteroid around, uh... De with him, De with him. Sure. Three has such a perfect, stable orbit. It's easy to understand why our scientists thought the universe was placed there artificially. Yet there's no conclusive indicators of any propulsion systems other than other than uh, artificial moorings. Uh, only natural conclusion is some absurdity and probable chance the asteroid got caught in De with him's uh, gravitational field. We have also detected some rare crystals. Excellent. We love rare crystals. Oh, hello. Tundra, excellent. Um, they appear to be late stages of Bronze Age. Good to know. So that is complete. Honestly, I put two times the amount of uh, FT uh, pre FTLs on this, and we already have four discovered, which is just slightly insane at this point. And I just realized, what are you? Yeah, you're probably gonna end up be a mining world when you really get down to it. This is an energy world right here. Um, yeah, more energy production, please. Energy is good. Energy is money. Money is good. Anomalous surface variable detected. Mineral composition of whatever does not match projections. All Anomalous right, tell me surface about it. variable detected. Oh, we have a heavily damaged bipedal robot floating in space. We do not understand its energy source, but we may be able to retrieve some information from its memory. All right, yeah, we found a random robot. System survey complete. Friend? Question System mark? survey complete. Um, those scans have revealed the causes of odd metal composition. The moon's crash site doesn't mass those spaceships. Larger than anything we could ever imagine. Their construction dates date back several million years. Um, oh, so we got subspace graveyard and we get, uh, complete. three allies. Um, we have final bipedal robot in space. Uh, it's basically featureless and it's metal exterior. There's damage. Preliminary scans indicated as a residue power, but... Power source is radically different from our own. The uh, internal circuitry may hold memories of previous existence, but recharging it and translating its information will take time. Scan it! Old soul. Excellent. Though diligent, uh, diligent efforts, we have found a way to recharge a robot's power supply and scan its memory banks. Sadly, the machine has de deteriorated so badly we cannot retrieve uh, comprehensive information. We will uh, consider the follow-up study 
and we may search for others of its kind, but the fate of the mechanical castaway may remain a mystery. Fascinating. Um, at that point. All right, so we're going to get these two planets here. We're going to get this tomb world and this one here for sure. Anomalous surface um, variable detected. Massive storms are visible in the atmosphere of the gas giant. It may be worth the effort to study them in more detail. Yes. Um, you come here. Yeah, okay, so we're up to 75%. When that gets a little higher, I'm definitely going to invade them at this point. Just no ifs, ands, or buts. System survey complete. Um, frequently extremely massive, extremely, uh, experience massive, extremely violent storms in the atmosphere. Several dozen persistent storms are visible from orbit, with winds often reaching speeds of 700 meters a second. This causes these storms not to appear immediately apprehend, but have found nothing in the planet's climate model that would explain this. Um, our scientists are interested in discovering this. Okay, yeah, sir, figure it out. Anomalous surface variable detected. A Colossus impact crater hit something big, collided with the surface of this planet once. Okay, figure it out. Ooh, we figured out the void clouds. Um, our investigation of Cleary cluster is very debris. Da. Cluster of debris and space dust with the destination Delta and using yield surprising results. This particular cloud, bristling with powerful charge of unknown origin, has no business exhibiting simple reflex actions, let alone movements with its purpose. And yet it does. All right, so we figured out what these things are. A foreign we figured out clouds so. are. There's something undeniable ominous about this. <laughs> I love it. All right, so uh, let's see here. How long is that cloud 20? 26 months, that's worth doing at that point. I was going to say, where are you going? We are witnessing the uh, Martyr 5 taking their first steps toward enlightenment, looking upwards, uh, opening themselves into the mysteries of the universe and artistic expression, develop their culture and arts power to capture them. Um, something beyond themselves. Wait, what? Where? Who are you? System survey complete. Oh, okay. I thought that was supposed to be for these guys at this point. <laughs> A large mineral which asteroid collided with uh, Nezro 1 at some point during the previous thousand years in what must have been a major impact event. An abundance of minerals can now be found on the planet's vicinity in impact crater. Beautiful, thank you. Construction complete. Alright, um, let me go ahead and get this one first, then we'll get this one. And I'm debating whether to go over here and then work this way, because I knew this had to connect up here at this point, just because this stopped here. So I knew this had to connect. I'm debating whether to go get up here in order to get this planet at this point. And that, and that guy right there. Um, I really don't know. We'll focus on these two Technological over here first. Technological acquisition successful. Alright, what do we got? Destroyers, that's always a good one. Or we can start mining crystals. Um, and honestly, I want to go for destroyers. It's always a good idea to go for your next level of ship or your next uh, surface variable detected. Your next level of uh, starbase. Um, all right. So toxicity. There appears to be a delivered crafted structure on the planet's surface, pointing towards a past long forgotten. Figure it out. Construction complete. All right. Good. Anomalous surface variable detected. Despite the constant toxic content and high pressure of this moon's atmosphere, a strong light signal has been detected coming from the surface. Okay. Ooh, I got lightning over here. Um, is toxic corrosive wasteland, but our scans reveal it has not always been so. A now extinct organic civilization seems to have destroyed their home planet by a heavy reliance on climate altering fuels. Mmm. And toxins. Uh oh. On a remote hill close to a major city, we found a lone active facility, a robot assembly plant, desolated and surrounded by military vehicles so deteriorated they break upon touch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ample surprise. So, uh, this gives access to improved energy initiatives, edicts, and then adds robots, uh, robot society modification. Um, and my scientist gains propulsion trait. Um, so whoever this was, let's go see who this was. This guy. He now has expertise in computing and propulsion. Great. 
That's so useful. Let me tell you how useful that is. It's not at all. Although, I should take a look and see. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Get rid of that guy. Spark a genius, my friend. See if it uh, ever pops up every once in a while. It's so useful. Oh, look, another System planet. Good God. Complete. All right, hold on. Um, life signs observed in the toxic atmosphere are giant semi-organic machines. What? Alien industry seem to have been the cause of the uh, noxious atmosphere on the planet, yet it's still operational. Uh, no other life signs can remain on the world. The creator of these machines have left them running. We cannot we cannot quite assess their purpose yet, but we can, but their construction could surely help our understanding. Curious? Or harvest what parts we can. So basically, do we get engineering research out of this, or do we get free alloys? And I always go for science. Uh, first off, you. Oh, great. My helper bot became paranoid. Great. <laughs> All right. Thanks, helper bot. I'm so glad you're paranoid. I'll go take care of you in a minute. Is there, which one is that? This guy. Oh, yeah, really? All right, whatever. So that's basically a wash and resource speed at that guy for that guy. System now. survey complete. Whatever. We'll see if we can find another spark of genius here in a little bit. Um, where are you going? Oh, perfect. You're going to go do that. So I'm going to hang out here in order to get this other planet um, at this point. System survey complete. We briefly detected some unusual energy reading uh, merging from this planet. It might have been a glitch in our system. Could be a signal of something more. Okay. Technological acquisition successful. Oh, planetary processors. Excellent. Oh, perfect. And society research calculators. All right. Um, anything useful pop up? Eh, we could just grab a random fit six. I mean, it would be better than nothing at this point. Construction complete. All right, that one's complete. In the meantime, while you're waiting for that, you can go ahead and just randomly build stuff. Uh, magnetic fields of Barbin 2 experienced a complete reversal while it was being observed. Ah, cool. Rare event that has interchanged uh, positions, planets, magnetic poles. Fortunately, it was recorded by the sensors of our ship, providing our scientists with a lot of valuable data. Um, kind of thing. This is something that actually happens, apparently, to the U.S. To the, I was about to say the U.S. Only the United States. No, the Earth System magnetic field. Complete. Um, at that point, where every couple of thousand years it like reverses or something. At that point. All right. Let's go ahead and upgrade you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Uh, let's see. 80%. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and recruit an army. Oh, okay. We don't have enough for that. Uh, we're gonna play it on the safe side. Because we're taking over this Special guy. project complete. Oh, we figured out the Void Cloud. Void Cloud may have been among the oldest entities in the universe. It seems to have originated just a scant few billion years after matter as we know uh, it first appeared. Tremendous forces of the young cosmos making something out of nothing. It would have been a, it, they would have been stars once, but were not. Explaining the apparent animal intelligence is more difficult. The answer might lie in the animal, the abnormal, duh, abnormality strong electromagnetic fields that keep them together. Another product of their primordial beginnings. It's not inconceivable that the given enough time, the circuitry, the circularization of its strange stardust and gravitational fields um, align in a flexible approximation of neural pathways or computer computerization circuitry or circuits. Moreover, the cloud seems to be receiving impulses from one another, if not outright communicating light years apart. Quantum entanglement is suspected to play a role. Uh, we can either say they will not stand in our way and get 33% damage versus them, or humbling, and we get 10 what 10% physics research? Yeah, it's humbling. We're bio. We're uh, rogue star force. surface variable detected. Um, southern hemisphere. Okay, so we found strange mountains again. Um, FTL they've entered the steam age. Clear evidence. Excellent. D and wait, where are they? Up here. Okay, so we got more planets complete. up here. Like, this is what I'm talking about. Like, I have I have this planet stuff turned down low, and I'm only double the amount of, uh, double the amount of, uh, FT, uh, FTL and, uh, pre-sapiens, and, like, I've so many planets, so many. Um, 
what was a previously thought to be an enormous assortment of mountains in the southern hemisphere, uh, Black Star 2, have been identified as a massive skeletal remains of a single colossus alien form. Bones have been dated as, as uh, 3.4 billion years old, but our scientists have ruled out that box of Bal Orcs Orcs Inc. Bal Orcs Inc. Whatever. Could have supported life on the scale of any point in the planet's history. Um, special research project. Situation and you will adjusted. do this special research project, is what I have to say to this. And System survey complete. Hey, expertise in materials. In materials, excellent. Um, scientists um, detected unusual heat signatures coming from below the frozen surface. Beautiful. All right, so we're going to settle these planets. That's for sure. After probing beneath the surface, we have concluded unusual heat signatures caused by hyperthermic springs. There seems to be more of the planet than meets the eye. Um, so basically, intriguing, we get subterranean ocean modifier added to this planet, and should be noted what this planet is. Or remarkable, but we don't need to waste our time on this. No, very intriguing. So this is literally a barren planet that's just subterranean ocean. Good times. So there's a large ocean heated by hyperthermic vents hidden beneath the ice mantle of this world. It is teeming with life, and much can be treated. Must can be learned from studying these unique organisms. Beautiful. Good for me. Continue exploration by the crew uh, uh, revealed the hot water coming from the deep within the planet's crust, teeming with microscopic life. Uh, what we once thought was an empty frozen planet actually contains a th thriving underwater biosphere. Excellent. Free research. Technological acquisition successful. Um, pulses steadily in heliosymatic, indicating internal composition far denser than expected. What could be, uh, what could be the issue with that? What caused all this density? Ooh, survey speed. There we go. I, I traded that off in order to get, um, traded that off before in order to get research speed, and now I'm going back. Special project complete. Our continued studies of massive skeletal remains on uh, Bacular 2 has have managed to set, sh shed some light on how the creature ended up on the planet. They are very faint residues and energy signatures indicating some kind of dimensional portal existed briefly towards the rear of the skeleton. Science officer Helperbot theorizes this creature passed through a gateway of another dimension, only quickly perished in the hostile environment. Where this came from, the questions may never answer. Beautiful. I'm so happy for that. While on the surface, uh, Lizway appears to be an ordinary white dwarf. The star hides an intriguing secret. By studying Lizway's uh, pulsations, um, scientific module Clue 3 has discovered a composition of almost entirely crystallized carbon. Um, astrona the astromagnetic crystallized latency seems to have formed the stars as the star cooled, originating its gas fusion core growing outwards over time. Is it, this one is a diamond of cosmological proportions, giving behind a white, uh, leaning behind a, a veil of oxygen, a white veil of oxygen and helium. So basically, we found a giant diamond. That's awesome. We're coming for a drone. I expect to turn an events grief seem to have taken over Gil 3. We are witnessing an unprecedented halt of work in the entire hive. What? In, in the aftermath of a single drone, we are unsure that the drone is different from the others, but the hive seems to be holding some kind of ceremony where the drone is almost religiously cut into pieces. What? The entire hive springs into motion again. This is highly confusing. It looks like it has social and spiritual importance. Anomalous surface variable. I have religious, uh, I found a planet full of religious hive mind drones running around. <laughs> uh, why did I suddenly lose my stream? What happened here? Oh, that was weird. That's very weird. Huh. There's a significant amount of debris in orbit around the gas giant. Most appears to come from long lost star starship in various configurations. Alright, how we uh, doing here? 
System survey complete. 87. Okay. Oh, we are down on food. Strong gravity well of Lisland 2 has pulled a massive amount of space debris, which has formed a dense rail layer around parts of the gas giant. Most of it appears to be wreckage from a series of space battles fought in the system several millennia ago. Scavengers have already scouted, scouted the debris of technological artifacts when mining stations can recycle the metals. Yay! Um, with that being the case, and I'm running out of food, I'm gonna build, yeah, like three of them should be fine. And I'm gonna add the simulation status to that one. Yeah, we got colonies going, okay, good. Oh, we have detected the presence of the Gestalt free, free Space Alien uh, Civilization to listen for. Okay, yeah, that's cool. They're harnessed the power of the atom. Okay, so they're nuclear power. Construction see this. complete. So this is another hive mine. Yep. All right, that's a hive mine. Good God, how would... I just don't understand, like, how the numbers honestly work with this at this point. There's another planet over here! Survey that system first. Um, alright. So, Starbase and Defense Platforms have their hauls of damage increased by 33%. So that's what we'll go for at this point. System survey complete. Our detailed survey of Liswin 5 has revealed, although it's currently unsuitable for life due to noxious gas presence in the atmosphere, it is capable of sustaining a breathable atmosphere. Uh, through concerted efforts, we may be able to break the planet's toxins down with less lethal components. Terraforming, terraforming this planet would be theoretically possible, but we do not yet possess the means to accomplish a monumental task with a realistic comfort. So this would require the detox um, extension for in order to do, and I'm just not, definitely not doing that. Technological acquisition successful. I'm actually surprised I have not encountered anyone yet. I'm what, 20 years in? Yeah, I'm 20 years in, I have not encountered anyone. All right, so we have improved strike craft, we can start mining gases, Corvette holes, holes. Honestly, this is the one we're gonna go through for at this point. No reason not to. Another freaking planet. I, I, I'm I, amazed. Just how many are in here, really. Oh, good. My my <laughs> cogitator, no. <laughs> I didn't realize that's what my Another governor was called. Um, there are fragments of an unknown vessel close to the Zet, Zet Resir. All right. Uh, so my governor developed Arrested Development. Great. How long does he- Ah, he only has one more level. Let's see if there's anyone else available. There is. We're gonna take this guy. Get rid of you, you're useless. I- I do- I'm down two levels Anomalous because my- my circuitry detected. hurts. Um, impressive structures litter the surface, periodic noise, some, uh, archaeological work. Okay. The irradiated fragments of, uh, ISS mo Scientific Module 3, crew registered in close orbit of remains a space-faring vessel. Interesting, with a very distinct design, matching no other made on record. Yeah, what else would be a made on record? We're the first ones out there, like, the heck, people. We have extracted some data from the ship's damaged computers, recorded in an alien language, nothing we have ever seen before, uh, and we are unable to translate. Study remains of signed off to our automaton V6. Um, Prostrates at the craft unknown. Okay, whatever. Uh, navigating error while exiting FTL, bringing it too close to the gamma ray jets. Of oh, okay, gotcha. Large portion of the strips trip apart. There are no survivors. Okay, so I got some. I got some society research out of that. It's fine. Oh, another place with a steam age. Oh, okay, that's these guys over here. Excellent. Um, Tarzid, um, 9 is uninhabitable and indeed uninhabited, but not unvisited. The surface is littered with tall, centrifoid carved some mineral not native to the planet, eventually placed here by some artistic inclined space area in place. The monoliths fall lines 
definitely charted in history of and, okay whatever I can't I can't pronounce half those words because I'm technological stupid. acquisition successful all right there's my survey speed research alternatives everything goes for research we all know this we all know how this works construction complete a uh, abandoned ship has been left drifting aimlessly above this planet. Massive sails protruding from the tulls just a relic of solar power. Uh, it suggested it relied on solar panel function. Oh, I see what happened here. Okay, my angry droids are not working over here. That's why this did what it did. Wait, why did you... What? Oh, I needed the housing, I bet. Yeah, I'm willing to bet that's what it was. I'm like, why did you build this? No, you needed the housing. System survey complete. Uh, we have discovered a abandoned solar sail ship in orbit of Tarzan 4, 6. That's 6, right? Yeah. Sublight vessel built in an unknown culture appears to be several thousand years old. One of the massive sailors has a large tear with some kind of object passed through, most likely a meteor, uh, which appears to have disabled the vessel. Although, although technologically the ship is severely outdated, it does present some interesting engineering design choices. Cool. Ooh. Wait, what? Explorers on Devon 3 have discovered a previously unknown species of muscoloids. On their own, each creature is barely qualified as sapien. However, two or more join together through pr physical contact. They form a semi-conscious node. Theoretically, this node should be capable of exponential growth. Cognitive powers. Simply put, the people of Devon have stumbled, on a, stumbled onto a biological thinking machine. Given time, the discovery should uh, fairly advance in organic singularity. Oh, we're absolutely... Watching this happen. acquisition successful. Um, this is a thing though. How far until? Oh, you're at ninety-one percent. I don't know if that continues at this point. Because basically, what we just okay. So what? complete. Okay, let's see something here. Um, basically, what we discovered at that point. Ooh, match districts on artificial planets. Okay, so that's our that's our insight. That's cool. Um, let's go with complete at this point. So basically what we discovered here is this species now has a uh, possibility of turning into a high mine. Successful. Oh, yeah, there's ceramic material. Uh, star holds, that's a good one to go for. I did tell you to colonize, right? I did not. You're another food one, but you're also a good generator one. Anomalous surface variable detected. Surface is asteroid literal with metallic debris. Most of it appears to be uh, originating from spaceships of many, uh, many different designs. Figure it out! Spaceport engaged. At that point. Deja vu. Sensor report a ship with seemingly identical properties and unique remains uncovered on Zephyr, which is dropped from hyperspace. Wait, what? Oh, this thing. The crew of the strange ship that mirrors the wreckage found in Zet. Uh, Record of the CMC excited to speak with us. So, though our translators cannot decipher their language, they identify themselves in a low frequency verbal expression. Sounds like sounds like the Kator. Ko Talo. Sure. Name we have heard before. Perhaps we can communicate using raw data. What's your purpose? We receive a fury of data response, including a cartographical image in a neighboring galaxy. The footage of what can only be engineering is working on, alien, on an alien FTL drive. We draw no other conclusion that these are explorers from another galaxy. Their ship lacks weaponry capability that would support this theory. We send back footage of DARP explorers on their first journey beyond our solar system, and the reaction from the alien crew appears to be jubilant. Send them the data recovered from the wreck. Excellent. The excitement of the camera crew seems to evaporate. Multiple crew members begin to tap away at con consoles using their tentacles like appendages. The transmissions, they transmit what looks like to be their passage manifest navigation data and crew logs to us. Without doubt, the data matches that of the wreck uh, to the letter, with one exception. Um, the wreck contains further energy with, with later dates. It would appear the uh, wreck is the same ship of one now before us, only older. Well, that is impossible. Despite their alien uh, mannerisms, the crew consists uh, consternation is evident. 
our own scientific answer today inform us that if the if the wreck is indeed the future of the ship before us, and any information we give them may have unforeseen consequences. We're going to warn them. We're bio. We need to take care of our bio trophies, which would be this organic. The extragalactical explorers begin pouring humanity over the system data logs we sent them, speaking to one another in a strange language and entering a fury of commands on the console. Our diplomats wait potentially. Uh, patiently for a reply, but before it can come, the ship's engine begins to power up unexpectedly. Before we, before we react, they vanish. They vanished. Good luck, Starfarer. Construction complete. We did our best. All right, so let's see here. Um. Okay, I'm gonna wait to take Anomalous this point. Anomalous surface this point, variable detected. Um, because that is a choke point, just in case. Oh, cool! Target for instance, practice. Our sensors discover ship remnants. Uh, got there in a peculiar way. The ship seems to have been intentionally driven straight into the asteroid, probably from uh, light years away, to test the accuracy of, accuracy of the designer's thrusters. Uh, as we <laughs> deep scan the remains, detect one of the ships uh, in particular, which seems to have a reasonably reasonably impact propulsion. Uh, yeah, we get free thrusters, or we get alloys out of the deal. And basically, I'm saying that I always take the thrusters. thrusters. Uh, you, observation point, and then build a mining station just for one piece. Art finds a way. Blessing, uh, reach culture, deep appreciation for art, and the inhabitants are putting down their weapons in favor of writing instruments. Uh, with this newfound willingness to learn and explore beyond conflict, willingness to draw global age. Well, that's interesting. Um, fascinating or wonderful is a privilege to uh, witness such a birth of such beauty. And I'm going to say, yes, that is what's happening. Um, let me see how you guys are doing. 93%, so it's still a fan scene at that point. I'm going to have to take them over, I think. Oh, yeah, here we go. Through persistent experimentation, the people have done um, begin to use recently discovered uh, normal consciousness as a rudimentally thinking machine, now capable of com computing complex mathematical cap calculations. The inhabitants are making breakthroughs in science and technology previously unheard of. Excellent. So they get insight, uh, game progress to our, our next insight, research boom, plus 10% to everything for them um, at that point. Does that... Yeah, okay. Can I do anything espionage-wise here? that would like destroy their, in, like I want to destroy their scientific research and I don't see a way to do that. Yeah, we can't do anything with that. Oh, one of the many moons circling uh, has a terminal orbit. It'll soon collide with a gas giant, which should become a massive impact event. This event has been millions of years in the making. It's a uh, startling uh, conclusion that the impact has been Fated to occur just after a visit by one of our ships. Many of our scientists wish to observe and record the event, only to have a narrow window before the situation. I am adjusted. all over this. I want to watch the moon happen. Please blow up, moon. Anomalous surface variable detected. Uh, it's home to a number of exquisite impact craters. However, something breaks the visual informity of one of the larger craters. Take a look at it. Anomalous surface variable detected. Inexplicably optical phenomenon plays across the surface of uh, clearly visible from space. Okay. I am fairly shocked I have not met, met any other um, AI or anything at this point. System survey complete. Oh. You know what? I'm kind of curious where this is going to end up at at this point. Uh, while the crater questions uh, most likely results from regular meteorite impacts, complex patterns resulting in the pressure originating in a later time. Science officer, blah, blah, blah. These surface letter patterns are not the result of impact by collision. One between asteroid and unspecified, unspecified orbital insulation or ship of alien make. Add circuits in the dust. Excellent. I'm honestly debating whether to uh, let them go at this point, let them come in, and then I just conquer them afterwards. Because I just close my borders, I'll be more powerful than them uh, at the get-go, and I should honestly be able to hold them off at least for a little bit. Um, 
reports Luminous Raves uh, coursing through the ice blankets uh, or alien origins. Some ancient battles have exposed cage wreckage from an alien fighter on the frozen planet. The And the only the exposed core are the main weapons intact. It seems the alien race use lasers somewhat more advanced than our own, than the ones currently in use by Dar fleets. Uh, fizzling inwards, PLI discharging low power lasers into the ice. Harsh climate prevents the laser from actually melting the ice. Interesting. A brilliant prism. Okay, so this is what I was talking about with the previous one, where I could, um, I went with the ceramic, uh, the uh, ceramic armor because I could get a vent to give us free, uh, free one. And bingo, we got a free one. Wait, where'd my science ship go? You get over here. Observe the moon impact. Then do that. Uh, system sensors indicate the experimental exploration vessel, uh, oh, okay, exited FTL abruptly outside the skirts, colliding head-on with the orbital, um, uh, with orbital, the in-orbital comet. Collision was, uh, disastrous enough to kill everyone on board and sent the remaining wreckage spiraling towards the Zet Pulsar. It would appear that the comet, not the Pulsar, was responsible for the, uh, demise. In our efforts to warn them of their fate, we seem to have caused it. Both wreckage, um... Both wreckage now haunt the pulsar. Whoops! Planetary Didn't mean to do that, everyone. Procedure initiated. Anomalous Ooh. surface variable detected. Um, faint alien signal during a survey in the planet source appears a small organic uh, or a small object in orbit. No message. Could be a distress signal. Deja vu dig. Scans of this place uncovered an artificial chamber beneath the surface its purpose is unknown origin unknown magnificent reveals excavating excavating shaft leading from the surface subterranean to the subterranean vault uh sending an exploration down yeah we need to find we need to send people to the surface progress towards the organic singularity in devon 3 continues apart the nodal consciousness reorganized much of the planet's agriculture production increasing crop yields uh raising standards leaving living already people are uh, relinquishing their decision of making the biological machine. All right, so we're um, up again. We gain a new societal insight tech. Excellent. System survey complete. At this point, we're picking up life signs coming from somewhere into the interior of the asteroid. Okay, find it. Ooh, that's a yeah. That's a neutron star. Um, an abandoned life pod was detected close to orbit of a Borgia. Amboji, whatever, is covered in scorch marks, presumably from the pod's mothership exploding. Preliminary scans suggest it was built more than 5,000 years ago. Um, the crew of the ISS module managed to open the pod, revealing the withered remains of a reptilian alien clad in a uh, resplendent uniform, clutched in its own claws with a small picture of another individual of the same race, possibly a mate or a revered leader. Alright, we found a guy who ejected from and saved his own life. Finished construction of their first interplanetary vessel uh, orbit their home world. For better or worse, these aliens are now ready to join the galactic community and must uh, be counted among the galactic's current space. Technological stage. acquisition successful. Greetings, you have no doubt taken note of our successful humble beginnings. We have taken note of the starbases orbiting our stars. We understand the starbase represents some kind of hypothetical claim on our system. We ask that you relinquish the hold of the space, seeding the starbase at the beginning, who have called Devon home since the uh, immemorial. Laughable demands, I say. Um. Starts the truce. Laughable, I say. Oh, darn. All right. Well, only one thing to do. Moralizer, excellent. Ah, uh, get out of my way. Come here. I would like to take you and land you here. Can I do that? No. We have to declare a war. Okay. Feudal Empire. Declare war. Can I declare war to make you? I can make you a vassal. That doesn't help me. Um, can I actually make claims on a system I already own, though? 
I can't. I cannot claim any of their systems. Huh. Well, that's a bit of an issue. Now, I could either save, scrub it out, or do something else. Uh, you know what? You're going to be a vassal, then. With that being, being the case, you're going to become a vassal. Um, Provost Subrogation, I want you to become a Protectorate. Yeah, you're not okay with that. Okay. Declare war. Vassalization. Declare Diplomatic war. alert. War protocols initiated. Uh, the life forms living on were nothing like we expected. The scientists report back that so the asteroid has crystal growth. These growths have turned out to be self-sustaining and caused by crystals taking of um, ambient radiation of Oakler combining it with middle compositions of the asteroids. The crystals themselves are primarily made out of whatever the circos could potentially even be edible. Curious. Edible, you say? Oh, yeah, this is where we get an asteroid that's actually edible. Oh, so that's circos. Okay, I get it. Curious. All right. Um, you come here. Oh, that's an interesting thing to have happen. You're scanning your own planet. Land armies. Uh, let's double check their army composition. Oh, yeah, you're Alert. mine. Spaceport engaged. Special project complete. Construction complete. Um, all right. You... That looks like a pulsar. That also looks like a pulsar. I'm gonna build one there, and I'm gonna build one here. I'm gonna start moving out this way. All right, so we got compact living, and we got alien photography. Okay. Um, command limit's already up to 50, so I don't wanna work on that yet don't really care about this. This would probably be my next thing I want to worry about. Um, and get battle simulator, simulators to get better um, better starting experience. Yeah, we'll come back around to the other stuff. Uh, because when we get Stronghold, yeah, that's the way to do it. Alright, so we'll make this complete. guy into a vassal. Oh, we found Zor! Excellent! Uh, extremely rare and <laughs> exotic particles appear to have been uh, deposited here through meteor impact, but its true origin is a mystery. If ingested, that's uh, ingested by the robots. Ugh. Um, if ingested by psychically, psychically gifted individuals, the aerosol should act as a very potent, pro probably addictive drug that enhances psi abilities. Yet it possesses a means to extract resources. Uh, where did I find this? Let me see here. Planetary pacification protocols initiated. Okay, gotcha. Anomalous surface variable. Uh, repeated scans of this place given inconsistent sensor readings on this planet itself was constant state of upheaval. Nice. Okay. Search for it. Tell me about Ground it. Ground invasion units have achieved all objectives. Okay. Um, do you surrender? You don't. All right. Well, we'll just be at war for a while. I don't know if this is actually achievable. Um, going through this because the vassalization war go is minus a hundred. Um, I I honestly don't know because I didn't give up. Like I can't do anything else. I just occupy them. Because what are you? Oh, interesting. Well, so be it. Well, let's see what this does. Oh, great. My idiot governor now. It, my, my previous governor became Arrested Development, and this one has rigid programming. Great. That's what I want to say. All right, whatever. He's doing his job for now. I told this colonist, right? Yes, I did. Good. All right, so... Technological acquisition successful. Yeah, we are about 10 minutes over where I planned, so let's just do this. Um, the very geological structure of this place is indeed in flux, driven what uh, science officer Halver bot G3 assumes is, us is a tectonical process of fas as fascinating as it is uh, heterocentric. What's more interesting to the Dar Servitors is that it may be able to 
strategically halt the planet's ceaseless chaotic self-transformation in short a near instant civilization of the planet is something slightly if not entirely more habitable it is, it is a theoretical possibility um, estimates an additional 200 credits will be needed to power through the mapping of the planet's activity to determine the validation of the science officer termed strategic or surgical terraforming strike oh yeah we're definitely doing this 50% chance of success. I would say that's more of an 80% chance of failure based on what I've had before. All right, perfect. Star holds. Um, yeah, nothing really matters. Just get coil guns at that point. Um, 500 to upgrade. Okay, so that probably means... Yeah, no, that's where we're at. I'm probably going to have to start taking over some of these. Yeah, failed. Yeah, I, I swear to God this always happens. The window's opportunity to terraphone has closed. Despite the best efforts of time, another opportunity will arise in a few centuries. Excellent. We got time to wait. Anomalous surface variable detected. Precursor activity will leave it be. Construction feed. complete. Is that over here? Yes, it is. I'm really curious what's going to be down Systems this way. Systems survey complete. Anomalous surface variable detected. Ooh, propulsion. Excellent. Fossil impact crater hits something big, collided with the surface of the planet once. Find out what! Alright. You have now become a thing. Which one are you? Oh yeah, you're the one I want to be the sector capital. Recruit. Always recruit before doing anything else because otherwise, because you can get like discounts and stuff. Um, this one's also going to be a generator world. We'll put the automation on at this point and we will get that going. What's our specialty? Ooh, dust caves. Excellent. So we have uh, moat harvesting at this point. All right. All right. We are about 15 minutes over where I plan to end here today. So we are going to end it. So far, honestly, so good. We got tons of primitives, honestly, at this point. And these guys, um, this might get a little interesting because I'm not sure how I might be able to end this. Um, I might actually have to do it differently at that point and then just take them over later and they'll just be pissed off at me um let's see how that goes because they have no star base or anything i don't know how they would like how this would work at this point i already took over and i occupy them what are they gonna do like <laughs> what are you gonna do guys huh i was hoping the um hive mind thing would actually come over a little bit more with that but that's it is what it is so I thank you guys, um, all of you for watching. I will be posting this video up on um, YouTube here later. Probably I'll get to it this weekend, but I can't promise that. So I, if you guys want to catch the entire thing there, you can. Otherwise, however you want to catch it. And I thank you all for watching. I will catch you all next time I stream, which will be this Monday. So Monday for one hour, Wednesday for one hour, next Friday for, again, two hours. So thank you all, and I will catch you later.